Hi right, guys, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can create a really simple encumbrance system like in Skyrim and Fallout, pretty much all RPGs really. So if you don't know what I mean by encumbrance, what it is, is a system where every item in the game that can be picked up has its own individual weight. And if you pick up too many items and your total inventory weight goes past a maximum amount, then you get some sort of negative status effect, usually a reduction in movement speed. Now that's the one that we're going to do today. And as you can see, I've already got a project set up for this occasion. Now don't worry, I'll give you a quick run through of everything I've got. There's nothing too important in here just yet. But if you are interested in a tutorial on anything that you see in this video, be it the first person controller, collisions, picking up items, anything like that, drop a comment below and I'll definitely make sure that I put it on my tutorial list. And just another thing, the asset pack that I'm using is from Itch and it's this one. I'll put a link in the comments. It's by Corveen. Completely free environment pack. Really, really beautiful low poly environments. Shout out to you, mate. And I'd also like to thank Gigatank3000 for continued support over on Patreon and also sponsoring this video. I've got his links down in the description as well, so make sure you go and follow him on Twitter, check out his website, check out his latest game. I'm sure you're going to love it. All right, so let's get into making this encumbrance system. All right, so let's have a look at what I've got here. So if we play the game, we'll see. I have a really basic first-person movement. And we have some logs on the floor scattered around. And the aim of the game is to run around and pick up the logs. But currently, we can pick up as many as we want. Now we know the average human cannot pick up this many logs without slowing down a little bit. So this just isn't that realistic. That floating rock isn't realistic either, but that's not part of the tutorial. So we can see, I've got an inventory system set up as well, and we can see we've currently picked up seven logs. Now that's way too many to be running around with. So let's fix that. If we uh, jump over to Visual Studio, we'll just take a look at the four scripts that we have here. We'll start with the first person controller. Like I said, this is quite a large script, but I won't be going into too much detail on this. Like I said at the start, if you want a tutorial on any individual element in this, just let me know in the comments. But basically, all it is is your standard first person controller, and whenever I press, what is update? Whenever I press, the left mouse button, we call this pickup method. Now the pickup will fire a ray from the center of the camera outwards, and if we hit a log, we call pick up on the log. And all that does is add it to our inventory control script and then destroy it. So we have a look at our inventory control. All we've got here is a static class, static counter, and whenever we call add log, it'll add one to the log. And then that's just displayed inside our UI manager on a text mesh profile. And we toggle this by pressing I. We can also press X while the inventory is open, and that'll just clear down our logs, get rid of every single one in there. So this is a pretty standard state for a project to be in. You've got basic controls, you've got a basic plot, you've got an actual task that you need to do. So let's add in some weight. So the first thing we're going to need to do is, inside of our log object, we're going to need to define a weight. Now you could make this public and tweak it in the inspector, but I'm just going to make this a private int weight, and I'm going to set this to 25. These are quite heavy logs. And now in our inventory control, this is where we're going to control the current and max weight. So we'll add in some reference variables for this. First of all, we'll add in a public static int. It has to be static because my class is static. This isn't attached to a game object. And we'll just call this max weight. And we'll give the player 100 units of weight. 100 kilograms, I don't know. 100 things. And we'll also set a public static int current weight, which is going to be zero by default. And then when we pass this log object in from our logs pickup item right here, we're going to want to add that weight into our current weight. So current weight is plus equal to log dot. Let's 
just make that public so I can actually access it. There we go. Now I should be able to do log dot wait. Perfect. And one more neat little trick we can do in here, we can actually create a get property, which will actually automatically tell any system that calls it whether or not we are over encumbered. So that will be a public static. It's going to return a bool. And I'm just going to call this is over encumbered. I don't know if I've spelt that right. Please don't shout at me. And inside here, we're just going to do a getter. And what the get's going to do, that's going to return whether or not current weight is greater than or equal to our max weight. As simple as that. So now we don't actually have to worry about what our current weight or max weight is anywhere else. All we need to do is call is over encumbered and that'll give us the true or false value as to whether or not we're carrying too much. Next, we'll just add this to our UI so we can see this totting up and that'll be in this refresh method. Whenever we open up our inventory, this is going to be called and it's going to get the most recent values. So we're currently putting out a total amount of logs onto the screen. So what we can do, we can use this current weight text. This is just text mesh pro element dot text and we'll set that equal to current and then use inventory control dot current weight. So that'll just display that number on screen. And we also want to make sure we clear down our current weight whenever we clear out our inventory by pressing X. So simply again, we can just do inventory control dot current weight equals zero. In your game, obviously, you would have a better system than this for your inventory. You'd be able to take in and out individual items and they'd have to update the weight and the UI independently. But this is just a quick example. Now we can actually do the main part of this, which is a player controller. So as we can see, we have a float here called move speed, which is set to 10. And inside of a update, I'm using move speed to determine the speed in which a character is moving, funnily enough. But that's not good enough. We want to be able to reduce that speed if we're carrying too much. Now, we could go ahead and start minus and plus on this float here, but that could get quite messy if we start calling minus 5 on a move speed and then plus 5 again. That just causes all sorts of problems. Don't do that. That's terrible. What we can do, we can declare two constants, which we can use as a normal speed and a over encumbered speed. So I'm just going to quickly set those up, similar to what you see above. So now we have two values that can't change. Normal speed, which is still 10, and an over encumbered speed, which is 3, a lot slower. So now we can repurpose move speed and again make this into a property. So instead of just setting this to a value, we'll again do a get. And inside here, we're going to return whether or not inventory control dot is over encumbered. And we're going to do this by using a ternary operator. So that'll be a question mark. So if we are over encumbered, we want to return over encumbered speed. Or else, using a colon, we're going to return normal speed. So now we don't have to worry about changing what speed our player is. If we just use move speed, like we already are doing, this should dynamically change the actual movement speed of our player based on how much we have in our inventory. So let's save this and we'll give it a go. So now we can open up our inventory. We see we have no logs and our current value is set to zero. If we go and pick one log up, we have one and our current value is set to 25, the weight value of one log. Now if we run around, we see that we're moving at our 10 units per second. We've picked up three, so that's 75 on our current. If we pick up one more, we should notice a drastic drop in our movement speed. And we do. So obviously at that point, like in Fallout, you could actually put up a message, you are over encumbered, something like that, just to give the player a bit of notice why they're moving so slowly. And if we press X while our inventory is open, we can clear that down, and then we're back to moving 
at a top speed. So think of the clear down as in you're dropping items, selling items, just generally removing them from your inventory. And implementing a system like this is just that simple. That's all we need to do. Now you could build on this. Each individual item is going to have a different weight value. And using this sort of system, it's going to completely take care of everything for you. You don't need to worry about that. You just pass in the item's weight, let it add to your current weight in your inventory. And then the is over encumbered property is going to pass back the valid value, which in turn is used to control your movement speed. So I hope this has been useful for you. I hope you've learned something. Just one final shout out to all my Patreons. I love you all. And with that, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more bite sized unity hints and tips.